Good morning, and welcome to this week's edition of Stony Brook Newsbreak. I'm Kevin Yu. And I'm Nathan Valorenti. The United States is advising Israel to delay its ground invasion of Gaza. The pause will allow more humanitarian aid to arrive to Palestinians and more time for hostage negotiations. Dozens of trucks with aid have been arriving through the Rafah crossing with Egypt this week. Hamas began releasing hostages due to humanitarian reasons, but more than 200 people still remain captive. The UN says the war has taken the lives of over 5,000 Palestinians and over 1,400 Israelis since October 7th. On Tuesday, Gaza endured its deadliest day since the war began, with 700 people killed in dozens of airstrikes. Israel continues to intensify its aerial bombardment. The race for House Speaker continues. Seven Republicans are still in the running for the top spot since Tom Emmer of Minnesota dropped out of the race this week. Representative Mike Johnson of Louisiana is now the leading candidate. The speakership was vacated on October 3rd after Kevin McCarthy was ousted. The party is having internal disputes regarding spending cuts, border security, and providing aid to Ukraine. Conflicting ideologies and person personalities between GOP's numerous factions have made choosing a speaker an enormous challenge. The scuffle nearly caused a government shutdown earlier this month. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Stony Brook's University's Division of Center Student Affairs and the Center for Prevention and Outreach have collaborated on events to bring awareness to end domestic violence throughout the month of October. Join them today for the Take a Stand, Walk With Me March Against Domestic Violence. The event will start at 1 o'clock at the Students' Activity Center Plaza. Be sure to check out the SB Engage page for more details and to learn more about preventing domestic violence and supporting victims. The pop culture moment you've probably seen on social media lately has finally hit theaters. That's right, Taylor Swift's Eras Tour, a three-hour long concert featuring her greatest hits, is now a movie distributed by AMC Theaters. The movie made nearly $180 million at the box office. However, some moviegoers worry that screaming fans will disrupt their own experience. The movie will be available on Netflix in 2024. Well, that's it for this week's edition of Stony Brook Newsbreak. I'm Kevin Yu. And I'm Nathan Valorenti. Have a go week, Seawolves. Thank you.